Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're not going back in there for now. <laughs> what I'd like to do though is do a little teensy bit of exploration. Yeah, back over here. Well, at least at the start of this part. Because remember there's that eye thing there and what we're going to reach... Uh, sometime along this part is something that's going to be relevant to what we're going to get hinted at from this cave. Three Fallen Adventures, three, uh, oh yeah, we already got those, okay. I mean, we already read that, excuse me. So yeah, I'm going to shoot that eye from here, it should be just fine. There we go. Now what this does, it leads me to something. That'll hint me to get into something else, that'll allow me to get into something else. And, uh, you know, you, you guys are pretty worth defeating actually so I'm gonna just gonna just kind of do that and <laughs> there we go can I get that rupee without going outside the door probably yes okay <laughs> alrighty there's another eye right there a cliffside not so far from here has a hidden weak spot shine a beam parallel with a line between the temple and Merkay tavern well what does that mean we're gonna see very shortly <laughs> Anyway, I just gotta hit that first. That'll activate, well, I should say, make that pop out of the ground. One of those tiki tribal statue type things. So let's activate it. So let's shine that light like you've never shined the light before. And we're gonna move it to... Right there is apparently between Merkay Tavern. I mean, parallel of Merkay Tavern and the temple. So that, well, at least as parallel as we can get it. So that is the solution to that. Now, what do we do there? Well, 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 hmm. What we gotta do here is get out our explodey things. Now go over to the cliffside where this light points to. Drop a bomb there. And, uh, you guessed it. Probably. <laughs> yep, that's the hint. And now what we can do from over here is flip-flop over to a new portion of this island past this rather long bridge of doom. Kind of, maybe, might be, I don't know. <laughs> nah, it's not doom, it's just fine. Everything is solid, not gonna fall in. Well, unless you're really off on your drawing and moving around, but whatever. <laughs> uh, Alright, so now we are over here. Look where we are on the map. Hitting this will give us a little shortcut bridge to get back over here. So we don't have to do the whole cave rigmarole thing. I think I'm gonna need to dig something on here if I'm not mistaken. Uh, well, maybe not. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna talk to him in just a sec. I just want to get what's over here first. There is a gem, a wisdom gem. Oh yeah. Now, chatting with this guy in a very peaceful environment, he's like, "Wow." <laughs> Hey there! What a gift to meet you. My name is Friedel. I am I'm but a humble singer who travels the world over with guitar in hand. In honor of our meeting, how about a song? Just a little ditty about a whimsy. It's called Magic Box. It's a box full of magic, put in parts of treasure. After a time, look inside and see a surprise. It's truly peculiar from one hand to another. Magical box indeed. Glorious exchange. Magical box. Find out what's inside. Ta da! And that's pretty much it. <laughs> yes, indeed. Tis the truth about these magical boxes. Put in ship parts and treasures you don't want. You'll exchange it with other players that you connect to. Uh, this is with either tag mode or battle mode. Uh, no matter if it is through. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Or what could it be in the magical box? Find out to give it a try. Place unwanted chip parts and treasures inside. So, um, what, what this does is you trade treasure parts and treasures, I mean, <laughs> chip parts and treasures with other people uh, via these box, these three boxes here. And what happens when you go into tag mode or battle mode, you can s swap them with other peeps. Now, um... Since all these treasures and chip parts are random, this is a great way to get chip parts or more expensive treasures with other people. And, and what, do I, what do I mean by more expensive treasures? Well, the price of these treasures vary from place to place. I, mean, let's, I should say save file to save file, and actually place to place, come to think of it. But um, what I'm going to be doing here now is going over to this building here. Now, this is what I mean about treasures having different prices from save file to save file. There's this guy with this very elongated face. Crackle DD. I'm the tailor of, tailor of treasures. Bubbles, beauties! I can so try from treasure. Let me see your belongings. 
So, um, yeah, you can check out ship parts that may or may not be worth more or may not, uh, yeah, see it. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so the, the thing about this is that you, you can't trade your, like, default stuff, but you can trade, I should say you can't s sell or trade your default stuff, but you can uh, sell or trade the extra stuff that you get for other stuff, and you can potentially get more rupees for that sort of stuff, like if you have extra parts and stuff like that. But what you're probably going to be most interested in is your treasure. Um, so, as I said, these are going to have different prices depending on your save file, and it's all randomized. Things are going to be worth 50, 150, 800, or 1,500. Yeah, that much depending on the save file, but as I said, it varies from save file to save file, so that's what the idea of treasure- Ooh, I got something expensive here. Uh, that's what the idea of treasure trading is here. So, this Dark Pearl loop will be 800 rupees on the save file at this place, uh, but it could be worth 50 rupees in another save file, or 1,500 rupees in another save file, but I actually think I'm gonna, I'm gonna trade for that now. Um, there's a ship at the southeastern side that you can get slightly more than the prices that you can get here, but there's a thing that they only trade for one type of treasure per day. Oh, and the regal ring here, no matter uh, what you sell it, I mean, no matter what save file um, you have it at, it's always 1,500 rupees, so it's definitely worth selling for such a price, but again, you can get it for a slightly higher price at the ship that you find at the southeastern place. Anyway, I'm babbling here, I, I should just be checking prices. Um, nah, for those 50 years, I think what I'm gonna do here is, uh, just sell them over to the other ship, perhaps. Holy jeez, pink coral is worth 1,500, oops! <laughs> pink coral is worth 1,500 in my save file. Whoo! <gasps> Look at my rupee sore, baby! <laughs> Uh, how much is this worth? Uh, okay. So, I got quite a bit of rupees there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is one of the best places in the game to get yourselves some extra bits of rupees. Now, um, I'm gonna be going over to the southeastern sea. I didn't mean to slash it too, I'm sorry. I'm gonna be going to the southeastern sea. Yes, I was! Perfect, I'll bet somewhere along these islands are the pure metals we seek. Let's take to the waves, Link. Alrighty. So, uh, remember that the treasures that we didn't sell were worth 50, you know, just for the sake of the, the future and whatnot. <laughs> so, alrighty, we are heading out, and uh, along our way, I think I'm gonna go and uh, salvage that spot right there, because it's right in our way, and as I said, when things are in our way, I'm going to go salvage them, so here we go, and the line, salvage. Hopefully I don't break my salvage arm, because it's still a little damaged, but we shall see. <laughs> I'm always worried when it has, I don't know, even the slightest bit of damage. I don't know if that's my OCD going crazy over that sort of thing. Or it's just paranoia, I don't know. <laughs> but I don't like to go and salvage with less than full health. I mean, like if you if you lose all of your health, you drop the treasure, and then you have to get the salvage arm repaired. Which I guess isn't very much, consider oh jeez, considering that you can get so much from your treasures and whatnot that I've been accumulating, but it's still the thing of that it's a thing that you gotta do. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, you gotta actually go back there and stuff. I guess you can warp there and go back to the thing that you're looking for, but, well, anyway, carefully, carefully grab, 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 there we go, because you can miss the treasure, and oh, 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 move out of the way there, move out of the way, I don't care if you blow me around a little bit, it's not that big of a deal, just as long as I get under control before I hit to the rocks, oh, jeez, I am doing terribly, I am so sorry, so, so sorry. But I think I'm gonna manage to get this treasure. And I could also get some more rupees along my way back. Yeah, you can collect stuff while you're holding something else if you'd like to. If you'd like to, but I am more concerned about what I'm gonna get from here. <laughs> so let's just bring this bad boy up there and uh, see what we get. So that we can very, very carefully weasel your way around there to get stuff, and if you memorize the locations of other stuff, you can get them on the way back, you know, you'll be able to get everything, but 
this, these sorts of areas are kind of randomized, and yeah, thus I kind of forget where things are. But that's okay, because our main focus is always going to be to delve deep underwater to get whatever is at the red X's. And let's see what we got here. It is, it is, it is, it's a ship part! Yeah! Oh, yeah! And now let's doodle our way over to the southeastern sea. I pointed my way down that way because I kind of want to go more that way <laughs> when I get past the transition point between doodlings, I guess you could say. So, yeah. Alrighty. Now, see, look, I want to go all the way over to this island. This is the next destination. And this ship right here uh, is the place that you can sell treasures for a slightly higher price than you could at that other shop on Mercay Island. But, as I said, they, they only shoot. I mean, I was going to say they only shoot. Oh, shoot! Pirate ships! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! You are in point blank range. Oh, jeez. Oh, poopers. Oh, poopers. Oh, poopers. They're coming. They're coming. Eventually. <laughs> You're up, Link. We've been boarded by foul monsters. As the commanding officer on this vessel, I order you to remove them at once. Go! Church! Get them! Yeah! <laughs> Take this! Pirate mini blends! Uh, was that it? That, that was it, right? That... What? You, you seriously? That I thought there was gonna be more, but eh, whatever. Well, anyway, <laughs> this is similar to Jolene. Ha! Do they actually think they had a hope against us? Ridiculous. Say, Link, here's a prize for you. Hang on to it. Woo! It's a good gem! Yeah! Get that on uh, one of these pirate encounters. <laughs> so that was definitely worth doing. Alrighty. So uh, I don't think our ship is gonna be healed from that. No, it is not. So, uh, we should probably get a move on. <laughs> um, yes, go. And by the way, the smaller ships are called warships, and the bigger ships with the sails are called pirate ships. I recommend that you shoot their cannon blasts away and while trying to shoot them, uh, to, to knock them off their feet and whatnot. So, yeah. Well, not knock them off their feet, just get them off your trail. Wow. What in the world is this? I know what it is. It's a boss battle. Well, a mini boss battle. It's called the Massive Eye. Who did that cyc cyclone th think it was anyway? The engine is soaked. We're stuck. Uh, hang on. Does something feel odd to you? Ah! Look at it. It's the Massive Eye. And guess what we gotta do? We gotta shoot the eyes. What is that disgusting thing? And at a time like this, this day couldn't get any worse. Okay, but we need to face up to it, Link. A monster like that, who knows how to deal with it? Maybe. Oh! Fire! Fire, fire, and fire some more! Yeah, as long as you keep shooting, you might just survive this. I'll man the machinery, you just aim and fire. Now, as far as I can tell, we don't really have any way of moving here, so we've got to defend ourselves with our cannon, but luckily, we get a lot of hearts along the way, so any hits that we take from its charge attack like that, or its electrical blasts, we just recover with relative ease. So anyway, yeah, all I'm trying to do here is shoot the eyes out, and, uh, each eye takes two hits. Oh, 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 giant, oh! <laughs> That's an eyeball monster, and yeah, he shoots those too, but as I said, we get a lot of hearts from those electrical blasts, so we just are able to recover our health from whatever we manage, whatever we take hits from. Like, see, we're gonna get more health from these duders. Oh, shoot. Yeah, so it's not really that big of a deal. Just as long as you keep shooting at stuff, you'll be able to keep recovering your health along on the fight. And everything is pretty scripted in, it, scripted in its timing, so you're always able to recover hearts or whatnot before the next charge or attack or whatnot, so don't worry about taking too many hits here. Just, yeah, it's it goes down pretty quick as long as you keep shooting. <laughs> Well, that was fun! <laughs> Woohoo! Wow, how we do that? We send it to the bottom of the sink, Le Sea Link. Sink Link. No, it's the Sea Link. Oh, jeez. I am not talking well today. And hey, the engines had a chance to try out, so set our course. Let's go. Alright, and here we are at the aforementioned Goron Island. There's Jolene hanging around there, which I'll probably want to bump into a little bit later on. And there we go, we have reached the next destination. 
And since this whole place is in itself another 15 minute or so plus journey to get through it over to that building over there, I think I'm gonna end off the part after this bit of dialogue. Hey, look at the map! No houses. I wonder if there's any pure metal here. Hmm. Ha! Amateur. Places like this always have treasure stowed somewhere. Fine then. You supposedly have a nose for this, so I'll follow your instincts. Can't say if it's pure metal we'll find, but whatever we scare up, it's all mine. Chewing on Ashu's, er, uh, the Ocean King's offer, Link. He'll grant any wish that I whip up. But what would that, what would you wish for? I'm curious. Treasure, right? Or maybe you'd wish for three more wishes. I don't think it would work that way. <laughs> Line back! You don't understand Link at all, do you? He's doing this for Techa, for the Ocean King, and to bring peace to the seas. Hmm, you're sort of a good guy, Link. Wow, that was out of character for me, wasn't it? <laughs> Go then. Get out of my sight and fetch some of that pure metal. Alright. Well, that was weird. My mech must have eaten something funny. Whatever, Link. Let's go and look for that pure metal. And that is what I will most certainly do in the next part. So with that, I'm going to end off this part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you then.